Rebel fans, week two of the SEC soccer season is coming your way this weekend. Uh, we're joined now by the head coach of the Ole Miss soccer team, Matt Mott. Coach, your season got underway last weekend. I know it wasn't the result you wanted, but you've talked about it all week, how big of a blessing it was just to be back out there on the field. Yeah, Seth, I mean, the idea that, you know, for so long we didn't think we were going to get to play any games at all. So to get back and play an SEC game was great. The intensity of the match was there. You know, to, to start out with a quality team like Texas a and we knew it was always going to be a, a difficult task. And, you know, the great thing for us is they showed us some of our weaknesses, some of the areas we got to get better at. Um, and we got to get prepared now for, for a very good LSU team. So um, we were happy we were back out there. We were happy we were playing. It was a, a really intense, tough match and, uh, and obviously disappointed with the result, but, but ready to move on for the next one. Yeah, a and M's such an aggressive team, a very talented team. What are some things you said they showed some of your weaknesses? What are some of those things that they maybe exposed a little bit that you could see on film and, and show the team this is an area we need to improve on? Yeah, we, we had a really good film session yesterday. You know, um, I think, like, defensively as a team, we weren't good enough. Um, I felt like when we got in the attack, we had a couple good moments, and we just didn't capitalize, just missed. We got to be cleaner. But, you know, usually, like we talked about before, you get a couple exhibitions, you get a 10-game build-up to SEC play. So to come right out right away, um, you know, in the end, I take full responsibility. I, I think that – um, they did some things that we weren't ready for, and, and we didn't didn't adjust well enough to them. At the end of the day, not the worst performance either. What are some of the uh, the positives that you can draw from that? Where are some of the bright spots from that A and M game that you could build upon moving forward? Yeah, I, I was happy with the team. You know, um, we had some really good performances from some guys. Taylor Radecki, who was a a newcomer from us, a transfer from Florida State, came and did a really nice job in, in, in central and midfield. Happy with her, and we had some guys get new starts. You know, Marta was a a new one for us played really well in the game. Lucy Green was another new new freshman for us. We did a, a really good job for us. Ramsey Davis, um, some of those guys, the new guys, you know, really for their first ever SEC game, I thought really handled the pressure pretty well. Um, you know, we'll get more we'll get more firepower going. I thought a couple set pieces we were dangerous. We had a couple run of play chances that were dangerous. Uh, we just got to get a little more clean there, a little more sharp in, in our attacking third, and, and hopefully we'll start to see the ball go in the back of the net. We've got two sophomores for our interviews today. Mo O'Connor, the Oxford Charger, was an immediate impact player a season ago. What steps do you want to see Mo take here in year two? Yeah, it's time for her to, to really, um, you know, take some ownership up front for us. And we're going to play her, you know, in an attacking role for sure. And, and she's, uh, she's a dynamic, you know, attacker. Uh, whether she's a midfielder or she's up front, she's fast, she's dangerous, she's tenacious, she has a nose for the goal, uh, and, and we're looking for her to make that step forward, and, and I think she will, and she's ready to do that. You know, she missed some significant time um, during preseason with COVID issues, et cetera, and so, um, you know, she's really just kind of getting back in the run of things, but really like what I'm seeing, she did a great job all summer being fit and really becoming more – more strong, you know, physical, all those kind of things. And if you think about it, you know, really age-wise, she should be a freshman. So right. um, she's ready to go. She, she looks great and uh, playing great, and we're excited about it for sure. The other sophomore, Sadie Holland, uh, one of my favorite players to watch a season ago as a true freshman, really talented, uh, technically gifted player. Uh, where have you seen her grow, and where, what do you see her evolving into during her time at Ole Miss? Yeah, I, I'm with you. I love Sadie. She she's a hard worker. Doesn't say a whole lot during play. She just lets her her game speak for her. You know, um, she's a gamer. Like she raises her level during the game. No game's been too big. She played in massive games for us last year. Quite honestly, won us the 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 um, Mississippi State game down at the beach last year with this fantastic run that got her into the box with a good pass and then over to Gabby. I mean, that's going to be a, a highlight for her for a long, long time to do in the last minute of the game. But she's, she can play in so many positions. She's really versatile. I like her center of the park. I like her out wide. I think she can play up front. Um, you know, like you said, technically very good, tactically very – she's a really smart soccer player. So uh, we definitely big fans of Sadie and, and looking for another big step for her in her sophomore year. Chance to turn it around this weekend on the road in Baton Rouge. LSU coming off of a 2-0 loss to a very good Arkansas team. LSU was a group that struggled a, a bit last season, but – from one weekend, it looks like they've made some improvements. What kind of a challenge will they be here this weekend? 
Very big challenge, Seth. I think we're their home opener, brand new coach. Um, I thought they looked very good on tape versus, uh, versus Arkansas, versus obviously a very good Arkansas team. I thought they were pretty unfortunate, actually, to not get a goal or two and, and make that game a whole lot more interesting um, from a score line. But the game as a whole was back and forth, and they were in it the whole time for sure, up until even had a penalty late in the game that – that I think the keeper saved or, or just missed. So um, they're going to be our, everything we want. We're, our hands are going to be full for sure, but we're looking forward to the challenge. Um, you know, looking forward to going down to Baton Rouge and and, uh, and performing on Sunday. It's on ESPNU, so it's a national TV game. Um, and, and we want a, a better performance than we had last week for sure. You're stealing my plugs. I was going to say Rebel Nation can watch the game on ESPNU this <laughs> Sunday. And then, of course, back here for the Magnolia Cup next week as we look to retain that here in Oxford. But best of luck, Coach. I know it'll be a challenge going on the road for the first time this season. We're looking forward to watching your team go out there and get some points on the board here this weekend. Thanks, Seth. Really appreciate it.